Hey guys, welcome back to Tommy Legends, and um, once again, thank you for stopping by. So, it's a build day, and we all know we do, we'd love a build day. So, it's the 2011 Tamiya Blitzer Beetle, um, two-wheel drive off-road buggy, and it is a cracking looking thing. I've never built this chassis before. I've had a couple of stadium funders, but they were already built, so I've never actually built this chassis, so it's a little bit of a, a bucket list for me today. But before we get into the build, a massive thank you to YRRC for sponsoring today's video. Um, YRRC can be found across all the normal um, social media platforms, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and of course their amazing website. And don't forget to use the Tamiya Legends 5% discount promo code when you're ordering from YRRC and save a little bit of money. That's a win for both of us. So again, a massive thank you to, thank you to YRRC. Okay then, let's get everything out and get building. Right, that's all the bits out we need for the chassis build. Completely building this um, standard kit, even the kit 540 motor. The only thing I'm changing, um, I've thrown away the plastic bushes and we're fitting full bearing set into it. Kit pinion, um, as I say, completely standard. Um, if you don't know the diff, it's um, metal gear diff, which is awesome, which takes us down to step one, which is putting that together. So let's get cracking. Right, so that's how the diff goes together. If you've not seen it before, all metal gears, which is always a bonus. Right, we'll get the lid on that and seal it up. Right, stage one complete. I've just put the diff cups in there because I always like to get the grease around. Um, spread it around while you've got it in this position, which is always useful. So I'm just looking at the manual. Moving on to stage two is to fit the bearings in the spur gear. Just make sure I've dug the correct size bearings out. Yes, we have. So that's the first of the bearings that goes in the spur. Um, yeah, and then it locates into the gearbox housing. Right, stage two, which was just fitting a bearing into the gearbox housing. This little plastic bracket, don't know what that's for. And then obviously the spur gear, fully greased up. Um, next on stage three, is just to put the diff in and the other bearing in the other casing and then bolt the gearbox casings together. Right, stage three complete. That's the gearbox finished. Very basic. Um, five bolts with nuts that uh, fasten it together. Diff is loose, rattling inside for now until the cups go in. Uh, moving on to step four, which is fitting the motor. So as I said, standard 540 motor and kit pinion, which is a 13 tooth. Right, stage five, complete. This little bracket comes with a kit. Um, that's for mounting your pinion in the right place on the rotor. Um, it's not got a massive section of grip, to be honest, but um, anyway. As I say, it must be right. So, yeah, that's basically the gearbox finished. So, looking at instructions, moving on to stage six, is the putting the two rear arms together and the hubs on. Right, that's stage six complete, which was um, bolting the arms together. These are two-piece arms. And then greasing this um, screw and putting the rear hubs on. Um, moving on to seven, is just fitting the bearings into the hubs and the outer drive cups. And then I'll jump down to eight, which is to actually fit the upper arms onto the gearbox, then put the inner drive cups on, and then dog bones and put it all together. And that takes us up to stage nine. So I'll jump to that now. Right, that's the rear gearbox full assembly done. Really basic, as you would expect. Um, so yeah, the arms are free. You can feel a diff for the first time, and obviously gear. It's uh, smooth as you like, and you can just about turn them out with your fingers. Um, so that's taken us up to stage 9, moving on to stage 10 now, we're going to start on the front end. Right, that's everything for stage 10, which is the front end. Um, yeah, all plastic, um, but these cars are pretty strong actually, if it, in Tamiya terms they're pretty strong. Right, that's stage 10, so that's the sort of front bulkhead unit made, so it comprises of upper and lower bolts together, then the front shock tower bolts down, and then the top arms. And then I also jumped onto 11, which was um, the front um, axles. Now, looking at the instructions, 12 is now to put the front arms, the pairs together, and um, put the front axles on. Right, so that's stage 13 complete. Um, no, it's not, I'm lying to you. Now that's gotta be, sorry, the arms now gotta be bolted on stage 13. To the front end um, so we'll get that done next right that's now the front end complete so that's stage 13 
Now moving on to it's now to fit the electrics into in in it and get it all sort of trued in. But uh, I'm going to do that at a later stage. However, I am going to fit a steering servo. I just won't centre it at the moment. Um, so we've got to dig a servo out, build a servo server up, and build the steering arms. Okay, stage 15 complete. So I've just used a low profile servo, uh, but you don't need to do that. Um, that's the servo server arrangement. Sounds good. Uh, I've got the servo mounts in there. Also built the two steering arms up. So looking at the instructions now, moving on to 16, it's uh, to put the steering servo actually onto the chassis and a top plate that holds the receiver on. Right, going to go a nicely now. So obviously you can see the steering servos in position. If I just move this back slightly, this top plate's come in, receiver goes on there. We'll do that at a later date. So that's taken us up to 17, which is now to put some little brackets down here, um, which bolt onto the chassis. Then we've got to dig out the rear shock tower, which bolts onto the chassis, um, and then the full gearbox clamps on. So that'll take us up to 18. So um, yeah, let's get cracking. Okay, so that's the two rear brackets on underneath, um, and then the rear shock tower. So now, jumping on to stage um, nine, sorry, 18 still, we bolt the rear gearbox down, two bolts into here, and then we flip it upside down and we fit this like rear bumper, which um, locates the gearbox on the underneath and then holds it down securely there. Let's get that done. Awesome, starting to look like a car now. So that's, but as I said, Two bolts through the top, and you flip it over, put this rear bumper on, two bolts there, and then another securing one there. And that is that back end complete. Cool, right, so looking at the instructions, moving on stage 20, we're just gonna do exactly the same and bolt the front end on now. Right, we have a car. So yeah, front end on. Um, what, you, what I've done since you've last on, two bolts through the top, two bolts through the bottom then this bumper goes on in three bolts and nuts um, and this like airframe front um, body mount goes on and I've connected the steering up um, yeah that's cool so looking at instructions now we're on stage 22, and that's to build all four shocks up and get them fitted. Uh, the, come, the kit comes with oil dampers, which is cool. So uh, yeah, let's get them built off camera. Right, and that's the shocks made up to 26. So yeah, it's just a case of mounting those on the car now. At the same time we're doing the rears, we put this fancy little bracket on, and these are the body posts for the sides of the Beetle body. I was curious actually how that was gonna mount to the chassis. Um, anyway, yeah, let's get those on. Right, shocks are on. Fronts are uh, surprisingly soft, actually. Springs are very soft, lovely and smooth. Rears are uh, quite a bit harder. Obviously there's more weight there. And then there's these brackets here on either side for the body, which is kind of cool. I hope nothing's just walked in. Did you see the tail? Um, so what's left to do now, I've got to dig the wheels and tyres out, uh, I've got to put the outer bearings back in because they kept falling out, put the um, hex adapters on, um, bearings on the front axles and we'll just fit the wheels and uh, see what it uh, looks like. Right, so I've just dug the bits out, so that's the rear tyres, love these tyres, these wheels are insanely bright, probably not coming across on camera because cameras for whatever reason just really don't like neon colours. Um, and that's the front tread. Love these tyres. And then, as I said, I've just dug the bits out, which is the adapters. That's the battery plate to go on with two body pins and the rest of the bearings. Right, let's crack on. And that, my friends, is the chassis finished. That's pretty awesome. I had a big surprise, and it wasn't a surprise. It shouldn't have been a surprise, but it, it kind of was. I've forgotten how wide this thing is because of the offset of the wheels. You know, that's the whole sort of design of it isn't it it's to look like that um front suspension feels great i did think it might be too soft but um no it feels awesome rear is a lot harder but as obviously we've got the weight of the battery to go in so yeah so i've got no shock collars on that's just as it is a bit bouncy on the back end um 
a little bit dead on the front but you know overall if you just press in the middle that does feel really nice um, also gives me the opportunity to feel the diffs nice and smooth and then the motor yeah that feels that feels nice that's uh, that's awesome it's uh it's a really good looking chassis actually just you know as soon as you add those wheels and tires on it uh, it starts getting that crazy look to it let's uh, just fit the body on quickly now that does look rather good <laughs> and it only gets better as you know and the big orange front end gets bolted to it we've got windscreens we've got a driver figure and then we've got those just off the chart aluminous uh, or neon orange decals like the flame splat effect yeah that is really cool i've only got a body pin on it's got a bit of play there i don't have actually two holes in the bonnet i know we'll cover one up i don't know if the front body mount fits in both i've not looked at instructions so one will be correct one won't but for now yeah it serves its purpose yeah that is uh that's damn cool it's, it's it's another one of those where you just like yeah i really like this i want to uh, get this finished as quickly as possible and get it running but it is going to look really good when it's finished suspension's there okay i get to uh just enjoy this for a while now until i start the body shell i'm actually painting the shell i've got the ts paint for it um which should be fun in winter because the winter's here now but um yeah that's a good day's work well i can't be honest that was awesome it's uh, sorry for i'm always repeating myself but it's so nice to build a brand new chassis that you've never built before because obviously you just don't know where bits go and i know they're all roughly the same, excuse me roughly the same but um it's fun and that was a pleasure to put together um probably from start to finish three hours yeah about three hours if that and that's we're making video at the same time so it's a really quick build and again we went bog standard apart from it's going we've got full bearing kit in it which is awesome um so yeah next time you see this obviously it's a body shirt set which is a bit involved there's not a great deal of detailing on it as such it's not like a sand scorcher but you know nevertheless we have got to paint it the, the orange front end doesn't get painted so that's good um just got to kind of bolt it together there's quite a bit of paint to go on the driver figure um and then the decaling which uh i'm hoping is going to be quite straightforward but um yeah, the decaling and that front orange nose cone just really brings this thing alive. Yeah, that's been a that's been a great morning, if I'm honest. I really enjoyed that. So this was, I can say, I wish I could speak again. This is all down um, to the generosity of your ORC. Can't thank them enough for sponsoring Tamiya Legends. It's uh, it really is off the chart. All your ORC's information and link to their website will be in the pinned comment of this video and also in this video's description. Please check them out. And if you do so, remember to use our um, Tammy Legends 5% discount promo code. Because um, we, obviously, we both win if we use that. So, uh, yeah, uh, it shouldn't be too long before I say this again. Because, uh, yeah, this one's a full all the way through to running it. So, there'll be another, well, there'll be a body set video next and then the running video. But again, winter's here, so yeah, we'll have to just sort of pick and choose a day where we can sort of get some decent footage of it. But it's uh, it's going to be fun. And I've also got some tyre decals for it. There's a little bit of tyre, super blue or whatever they're called, on one side of each tyre. Um, so we'll do a tyre writing on that, and then I'll put the BF Goodridges that I've got around the other side to make it like a full pattern. And... Uh, yeah, I think that's going to look off the chart, if I'm honest. Anyway, I digress. As always, my friends, thank you so much for watching. It is honestly massively appreciated. If you are new to this channel, if you can maybe give this video a thumbs up, say leave a comment, say hello, and uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you do all that, turn notifications on. That would be absolutely awesome. Whew, I'll shut up now. And as always, my friends, happy RCing. Mm -hmm.